Hi, it's time for another math. Easy solution from the sky. So basically, how to show folder sizes in Windows 8 using the uh, pretty uh, pretty easy to use and simple folder size program. Basically, Windows uh, or Windows 8 or Windows 7 does not show the folder size unless you right click and select properties for each folder. Basically, I need a I needed a quicker way to check folder sizes, basically to efficiently manage the storage capacity of your PC or mine. Because uh, earlier my my D drive was actually uh, getting too big, so I was wanting to find out which folders had or which files was taking up so much space. But basically, with uh, yeah, basically I couldn't do it in an efficient way using the default windows. For example, if I were to go open this right here. Go back to this here. This is just some random videos, files I have for my math easy solution. If I, uh, so basically, if I want to know what the sizes are here, so this size over here doesn't show it. It's only for individual files. So if I wanted to say how big this one is, I would have to right click and press properties and go, there is the size 140 kilobytes, which is not much. But I want to find a way to find, let's say, all of these uh, and compare which one's the most instead of going right click of each, which is just a hassle. But it's pretty easy to do this, and uh, you could actually use this program folder size. You can download it from uh, download.cnet.com, and you could have this link. I, I put this exact link in the Dropbox link below, or you can Google folder size for Windows. There should be a bunch of other sites that uh, share this because it's such an easy one. Uh, I think it's open source, and there's just a lot of people have this kind of um, program. So basically, if I just drag this in over here, so it looks something like this. And let's say I want it to go to the D drive and basically scan this one. So you can click the scan, uh, scan selected drive. So it's scanning it all and then it also plot which ones are the most. You'll see soon. So it's scanning. There's 128 gigabytes, uh, yeah, gigabytes in the D drive and 79 being used, 56 being uh, not used. As you can see right here. Uh, this shows that Dropbox it has the most, so it's over right here, 90% of it, and then it's Google Drive, and then I have one on the SkyDrive folder. So basically, if I uh, make this a bit bigger, so as you can see, the size is here. So 1,000 uh, megabytes is a gigabyte. So there's 64 gigabytes in my Dropbox. So I click this, and it shows where all of these folders are. Actually, uh, it was more. I think it was a 90 gigs until I. Uh, basically, uh, stopped syncing some of the stuff from the Math Easy because uh, from the websites. If I go to Math Easy Solutions, I had uh, most of it from the videos, which uh, I also saved, but I have it just backed up on Dropbox right now. And it shows you, as you can see, there's a percent of it, and there's a size. This is just under a gig. This is 0.78 gigs. It's about 48 percent of this uh, this external, uh, basically this website's folder. So I scroll back here. So you could basically use it, and it's pretty amazing. You could also change this to uh, over here. Uh, click the, make it a bar graph, and shows which which have the most. So basically, others has uh, has like 16%. And once again, school shared. This is some of my random engineering school stuff. So we go in here, masters unshared. Most of it's in here. UBC takes up the most. And then basically my fourth year term two had the most at 4.8 gigs, gigabytes or 34% of the UBC folder. So as you can see, this is pretty amazing and you could quickly see where it is and you might have a bunch of videos or photos taking a lot of space and you can easily find out which ones you got to delete them or move them or in this case unsync, uh, basically unsync the v video files that are taking too much space on my Dropbox and, and I don't want it on this computer. Well anyways that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this uh, and yeah also there's also a duplicate finder and a duplicate image finder. I might do videos on this later and it's uh, pretty good. Anyways that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Remember you can download these exact notes in the uh, SkyDrive link below. I started using SkyDrive instead of Dropbox. Anyways that's all for today Alex and um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed and stay tuned for another math easy solution.